Hello everyone, I'm sure you must have been following cryptocurrencies and all of the fluctuations that are going on in the market and you must be wondering what's a good way to accumulate some of these altcoins that are fairly cheap and um, very inexpensive um, from the price point standpoint and uh, not having to invest it, um, invest money in it. So if you're looking for to mine these coins um, then there's a lot of different options and how you can go about it and in this video I'll be covering one of those options uh, which is through Minergate. So Minergate is a mining software. Uh, I really like this um, uh, platform because uh, they have pretty much simplified most of the mining steps and basically you can download the software onto your PC and start mining right away. You can download it on your phone and you can also mine it from there uh, you can host a VM on Azure or AWS and mine it from a cloud service or you can buy a GPU or a CPU rack from Costco or um, from I guess yeah uh, Nvidia's website and uh, set up a mining rig uh, at your home so in this video we would be covering how to mine uh, these altcoins from your machine, from your laptop or desktop. Um, and it's very straightforward. So over here, when you go to minergate.com, uh, you have to go to the download section and just download the software. And while it takes a little while, set up your account. So go to the sign up page and create your account. It just needs your email and your password. Make sure this is the same email that you use consistently across all your mining um, uh, operations or all your mining um, platforms because uh, it identifies you as a user through your email. So if you put in a wrong email, um, then it may mine the coins but you won't see it on your dashboard. So this is very important. Uh, over here, I've already created an account, so I'll just log in. There you go. So once you log in, you'll see that you have the dashboard over here. And right now in the dashboard, you can see all the coins that are available that can be mined. So there's Zcash, there's Bitcoin Gold, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Bytecoin, Monero, Digital Node, Aeon Coin, and a few other down here. So you can really choose your pick. And if you want to learn more about these coins, go to coinmarketcap.com and you can get all the information, their trading prices, uh, volatility, circulating supply. Uh, you can even see the rise or fall within the last hour, 24 hours or seven days or longer. So let's say we want to mine Monero, for example. So I come to Monero over here. I see it's trading at 399. Uh, uh, dollars uh, right now it's down 5.4 percent I can also look at the pricing chart so let's take the Bitcoin price out let's take market cap out this is just the pricing history and the last seven days it has been fluctuating a lot and over the last one month let's uh, it's froze let's refresh Last one month, it's doing quite well. Um, it was three hundred dollars, then jumped all the way up to four ninety four, and now dropped back to just four hundred dollars. I think this coin has good potential. Over the last three months, it has gone from just under hundred dollars to over four hundred dollars now. So, one more thing I'd strongly recommend you to do is check out the website for whichever coin you want to mine. Check out any announcements that have come out. Um, you can also look at the social media sentiment. So some of the Twitter feeds uh, on that coin. And um, if possible, also check out their GitHub repository and see how much activity they are seeing. Basically, strong coins should have a good community um, uh, a backing and good momentum on how quickly they're building uh, the features and how many community members are supporting the development uh, but coming back I have the software downloaded now let me just launch that there we go so you can put it in your application it's already there I'm gonna start it over here 
there you go so as I mentioned your email is going to be the single identifier that this um, software is going to identify you as a user so I'm going to use the same email which is best coin store .com. And there you go it's all set up now I can start mining any one of these coins so let's go and mine Monero so you can get the um, the token um, the um, uh, let me just get that symbol from coin market cap so it's XMR and over here let's see I think it's there you go XMR so it starts mining and I can also do multiple coins at the same time so let's say if I want to mine Bitcoin and here you can assign how many cores you want um, to use this PC has this uh, MacBook has four cores so that's why that's the maximum number of cores I can assign to it um, the higher the number of cores that you assign the more hash rate you're going to get so I'm getting 52 um, close to 50 hash per second uh, over here and over here as well close to 50 for Monero and when I go back that's fine and I go back to the dashboard I'll see both of these Monero and Bitcoin should come online give it, there we go just came online and it will show you the hash uh, rate in a few seconds but as you can see I've already started mining I've already mined 0 0.0000894 Moneros and I've already mined 0.17 Bitcoin that's amazing isn't it so in less than a few minutes you can have these miners set up on your machine then you can start mining and uh, you can keep them on um, when you sleep and um, when you're not using your computer and it will be mining in the background and uh, yeah over a couple of weeks you can have a decent amount of coins in your wallet and once you want to transfer uh, these coins onto your uh, uh, desktop wallet or any other wallet that you are um, uh, in basically managing all of your crypto assets from you can just go to withdraw put in your uh, basically any 20 uh, Bitcoin before I can withdraw but yeah you can put in your wallet address and transfer the coins there so that was it for this video I hope you guys enjoy mining and uh, get these coins um, uh, get as many coins as you can and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.